Hi guys, welcome back. This is Erin from Paint Those Piggies and today I have a mainstream nail polish haul plus kind of like nail art supply haul. So I'm going to film this like pretty quickly just like boom 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 rapid succession of polishes because it is so hot in this room right now. It's like 100 degrees outside so let's get right into the polish. So oddly enough I'm just going to go through this box on my lap right now. So I bought a bunch of fall nail polishes. I bought a bunch from the Nordic collection and some from the Washington DC collection from last year. And I do plan on doing a video on the Nordic collection probably next week. I have swatched all the polishes, but I have too many nail polish video ideas in my mind. So I'm gonna go through the ones I picked up. This first one is OPI, it is in Greenland. This is like kind of like a dusty pistachio green. The next one is Rubble Without a Moss, and this one's like a dark, cool tone green. I did have to order this from Ulta because it is an Ulta exclusive, and I honestly, like, this drives me nuts. They, like, changed the bottle of OPI from the old one, and I don't like the new one as much. Oh, there goes everything falling. I also picked up, check out the old geysers geysers <laughs> I don't know how to say this polish name but this is a light blue from the Nordic collection and then I also picked up turn on the northern lights and this one is the kind of like cobalt blue with shimmer inside of it I'll just keep going with OPI. I ordered a bunch online. As you see, they came in this little box. So this one is from the Washington DC collection. This is Yank My Doodle, which that name, I mean, guys, that name. This one is, sh it's Top Secret, which is like a dark brown, which I love brown polishes. I know some people don't, but I really do. I ordered this one, Susie, the First Lady of Nails. It's kind of like a like a rich army green and I wore it last year and I loved it so I had to pick that one up and I also ordered Freedom of Peach which is like kind of like a dusty peach color also from the Washington DC collection. So I also ordered some other stuff from Ulta. I ordered these latex free makeup sponges. I don't know why I can't find these in any store around me but I don't know maybe they're just like out of date but I found these on Ulta, so I got these for gradients, and so I also, to go along with that, picked up this, I don't know how to pronounce this name, Queen, Puin, um, latex tape. It's like a barrier that you put around your nails for stamping or gradients, and I didn't have any. I used to have Liquid Palisade, but it dried up really bad, so I just ordered this one from Amazon so I can do gradients and stamping again. A couple of other nail, you know, not nail polish things I ordered. I did find this OPI, um, Nicole by OPI Oil on the Go. I really like this. It's not the most moisturizing, but it's one that you can use throughout the day that's not like really greasy. I found this on clearance at Meyer, but I also, before that, ordered one from Ulta. So I paid full price for one and half price for another, but I haven't been happy with my cuticle oil that I've been using, so that's why I bought so many. I also bought the Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream, and I've been keeping that in my purse, but I did just buy that too. I did buy also the OPI Avoplex Nail and Cuticle Replenishing Oil. I had this in a pen form before, but I ordered the bottle version because I couldn't find the pen version. And this has been like my favorite cuticle oil. I have one that I've been using from Barriel, but I haven't been liking it. It's not very moisturizing. And I also tried an indie brand that I was allergic to. So this one I know works for me. So I also got that off of Ulta and it's got cat hair on it, of course. Next, we'll just dig into some more polishes that are just like splayed about in the box. This first one is again from the Washington DC collection. This is never a dullest moment. It's like a not a mustard yellow and not like a bright yellow. It's kind of a mix in between a dusty yellow. There we go. And 
Yellow is my favorite color, so I had to pick this one up because yellow polishes are so few and far between. This next one I bought is from the Nordic Collection, and I had tried it before and loved it, and so I had to buy a bottle of it. This is Less is Norse. This is considered their hero shade, like the shade they want you to focus on for good reason. It's like a dusty denim cream, but it's so glossy. It looks like a gel manicure. I'm obsessed with this color. I do have four more polishes, I know. I just like got back into nail polish and just went crazy. So the first one I bought is from the China Glaze My Little Pony collection. All the rest of these I think I ordered on Ulta. And so this one is I See Ponies and it is like a dense holographic polish. And so I don't have many hollows. I don't know. I might have like two. I don't have many holographic polishes, but I want to get into holographic polish. So once I saw that there was like a mainstream holographic polish, I definitely wanted to try that out. So China Glaze isn't normally like my preferred brand. It chips really easily on me, but it's one of the only mainstream brands that has come out with a holographic polish. So I had to pick that one up. I also picked up there's one I don't have in here, and it was OPI's Crawfish and for a compliment. It showed up in my last weekly nail polish videos. I got that on clearance at Ulta when we were up in Chicago. And then this one was also an Ulta clearance polish. This is OPI's A Great Opportunity from the Venice Collection. I do have this polish in a mini. I only bought like the four mini polishes from that collection, and this one and worth a pretty penne, like penne pasta, which I haven't been able to find yet. That one and this one were my two favorites, and I'm still looking for a full-size bottle of worth a pretty penne, but this one I really liked. It's like a pinky nude, but warm toned, and so that again is a great opportunity. I also picked up this one on clearance. I had worn it before and I really liked it. It's kind of a weird color, but I've been getting more into orange polishes lately. And so I wore this one, saw it on clearance, decided to buy it. This is OPI No Tan Lines from the Fiji Collection. I've slowly over time been getting more and more polishes from the Fiji Collection. I had mentioned that I kind of didn't follow the collections for the last year and a half. I knew they existed, but I didn't really like look into them at all. But this one I really like. It's like, it almost looks like the color of a school bus or the lines in the middle of the road, which I didn't know that until I wore it. But honestly, it's so cool. I think it's a really unique color. And then the last one is another one that I had worn before. I think I needed like a certain amount of money to get free shipping on Ulta, so I just picked this one up. This is a stunning color. I didn't get any polishes from like, I don't know what collection of soft shades this was from OPI, but I loved this color. And this is OPI's I Am What I Amethyst, and it's just like a really pale, kind of like cool toned purple. It is so pretty. So I do want to try and find more of those soft shade polishes. Like I do want to try and find the polishes from that collection. I don't know if I'll be able to find them, but one is like one, I don't know what it's called. It has the name Chick in it. It's like a pastel yellow. There's a pink in there that's like something with blushing in the title. I know this is great. I don't know the names, but I really think that was a pretty collection. So this one, again, is the first of them that I have, and that's I Am What I Amethyst. So that was like rapid fire haul video, but I need to cool down. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. Like I said, these polishes will show up. There will be an OPI Nordic Collection video, and there will also be these polishes showing up in like weekly nail videos. You guys seem to really like that. So I'm definitely gonna continue. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I thank you for all the new subscribers that have been coming in because it's been a lot and I'm really thankful for that. So thank you guys if you're new. Thank you if you've been watching my videos for the past few years. I appreciate everybody here and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.